I'm gonna kiss her. Ah! <laughs> hey internet, it's Jessica and welcome back to Butterfly Soup. So we're gonna continue on with Min's side of the story and we unfortunately learned that her parents were very abusive towards her. More specifically, her father in a violent manner. But uh, we learned why Min is so angry all the time, why she has like 5,000 knives in her jacket, but... It's just because she can't be herself and she's been trying so hard for people to accept the fact that she is like this but people don't want to. And I think the only person who ever did was Dia because Dia is completely in love with her and she's in love with her as well. So hopefully things will get better but let's go continue. Ninth grade. Min? Help me. What's wrong? Who hurt you? Kill them! Smash their heads in! I don't know how to talk to the baseball team. They're being weird. Check the baseball club chat. What do you mean? Oh, Sakura pets you. What? Oh god, <laughs> are they role playing? Yeah! Purrs and rolls over. What the fuck? Ohio gozaimasu! Morning! <laughs> Join our, uh, our RP group. Oh dear god. Look, okay. I, I used to roleplay too when I was a kid, like when I was really young, I get it, but like, I feel like if you're gonna roleplay, you should do it like in a separate chat, not like in the general chat where all of your friends are because it can get a little like, I don't want to say intrusive, but it's just like it's not for pers a person who doesn't want to roleplay, you know what I mean? So you should do a separate thing. <laughs> Rubs against men, kick you in your fence, be a furry freak, go somewhere else, sad <laughs> Krista is under the chai room. Hey, Krista! Yo, we should do something to celebrate our win. How about going out for lunch? That sounds good. Any suggestions for where? Buffet! Perfect, I have a coupon for Bombay Garden. It's an Indian buffet in the mall. If we're really being frugal, I bet men could pass up as an under 12 for the kid's price. Why stop there? Infants eat for free. Damn. Hey! More realistically, men could actually fit in our equipment bag. <laughs> The giant three feet long one. We get straight up and smuggle her inside and not pay for her at all. Won't the waiters find that odd that a tiny Asian kid suddenly materialize out of her bag? No, they won't see her. She'll stay in the bag. When no one's looking, we can quickly slip food inside. What kind of demented fantasy is this? I'm getting scared of you for your future children, you weirdo. That actually sounds kind of fun. I'll do it. What? I'll be like, illegal. Alright, let's meet up tomorrow at noon then. Be there or be square. Tomorrow? I won't be able to go! Why not? I just had fun three months ago. My parents will complain I'm wasting time. I can't go either. I'm so grounded for getting expelled from Niles. How are you coming to practice then? I told them I'm going to tutoring group. Can't you say you're going to a special edition session? Because you're extra dumb and you need help? Fuck you! And it's not gonna work. Then we'll be convinced that easily. Wait, listen, I have an idea. Okay, what's going on? Min's mom accompanies her to the library. Noelle is seated inside with her mom. Oh, she's gonna cover her like, oh, I'm tutoring your daughter. Min gestures at her, wrinkling her nose with disgust. It's my private tutor or whatever. Yes, I'm receiving extra credit for this. Min's mom eyes her, the clearly nerdy girl from Min would have never been friends with. Noelle's mom eyes the, eyes the clearly stupid girl Noelle would never be friends with. Show us your latest math test. Min takes the crumpled ball of paper out of her pocket. When she smooths it out, it's marked all over with red with failure. What happened? I got unlucky. There were so many when I narrowed it down to two choices that I guessed wrong. There are only four choices! Even if you choose a single answer at random, on average it was scored higher than this! Yes, yeah, is who? What? She says probability! Nimal teaches men the concept of probability. It sounds fake. It's not fake! Do you at least un do you at least understand it now? I guess. Finally convinced that Noelle is legitimately tutor men, their moms head home. Fool them. All we need to do now is walk to the buffet and remember to come back here later to get picked up. <laughs> I like how they did that. So messed up that even when we have to do this just for really basic things, we're not even going to do anything bad. I can't comprehend the situation where you don't have to hide most of your life from your parents. Right? A healthy relationship with your parents? What's that? Yeah. Yeah, I wish I wish kids didn't have to do that. I, I, again, not saying it's only Asian kids. A lot of other kids have to hide from the parents. I think it makes it a lot worse for the relationship. And the reason why majority of them do is because they're scared of what their parents are going to think. And that's, that's sad. It shouldn't go down like that. 
if if parents really want their kids to be honest with them because they always say why didn't you tell me or why aren't you honest with them you don't let them because you punish them when they are honest and um or you yell at them or you tell them they're wrong or something like that you don't try to understand which really sucks it sucks that due to social social pressures, practically everyone has kids, whether they're well suited for parenting or not. It took me a long time to accept that my mom and dad are decent people who just happen to make horrible parents. But mine are even worse. My dad tapped the time table up to 12 times tell on the wall at eye level and made me stand facing it until I memorized the whole thing in one go. I was only 5, but I remember it clearly when I was there hours and hours. So I don't know what 11 and 12 ones are. Oh yeah, my dad once threw a porcelain toilet seat at me from upstairs. Why a toilet seat? My dad went to pee in the middle of an argument and suddenly remembered how mad he was at me. So he stormed out of the bathroom with a thing in hand and hurled it out at me on sight. Jesus Christ! So that wasn't the first time throwing the statue thing? Oh my god. Wow, that explains a lot about you. Parents should be required to take a test before they can actually have kids. I wish that were viable, made me an ideal world, where all vehicles turn signals sync up and blink at the same speed. I'd want them to take a test to understand and explain their motivations for being a parent. Do you want a kid just to elevate your own status? What if your kid don't turn out the way you expected? A bunch of white guys are hollering at them as they pass by the intersection. Oh god, here we go, the racist fucking people. Konnichiwa! Min makes an obscene hand gesture at him. This is America, speak English, motherfucker! <laughs> That's not the correct way of- that's not the correct way to think of it. It's kind of funny. He had two chances to get it right and got it wrong for both of us. I like you and your math test. Oh, shut up. <laughs> At least they're getting along now. I kind of like it. Here. Dia and Akarsha are already waiting by the fountain. Dia! Aww, I love you, Sanange. <laughs> this, this just added five years to my lifespan. Diemo said that she's a standing directly beneath the air conditioning vent. She closes her eyes contentedly as the cool drop blows over her face. You're sweating buckets. Were you exercising or something? Ran five miles here from home. But your house is only one mile away. I know. I just can't read naps. You should cool off in the fountain. No. It doesn't matter that you're not wearing a swimsuit. If you take off your clothes, your bra and underwear will basically be like a bikini. You think the swimsuit is the only issue here? It's called having fun, Frenchman. You should try it sometime. Really? Then why don't you jump into the fountain? Great question! What? It's filled with money people threw in there. It's like swimming in a pool of- with- but better. She's right, there's nothing stopping us from taking it. You can't be serious! Stop! Stop! <laughs> and then they got- <laughs> I love these two! How much money have you got so far? Min examines a fistful of dirty coins in her hand. Uh, a lot. Min holds up for Akarsha to see. Got like 188! We find 392 cents more, we can buy Mario Party at GameStop. Hey, what are you doing in there? Get out! Chris says, power walking towards them. Shit! Akarsha and Min reluctantly climb out of the mall fountain. Why are you two like this? Have you, have you never gone outside before? How dare you! Just last week I went to Safeway with my mom. Chris points to Noel, who is frankly watching them get scolded from a safe distance. And you! What? I didn't do anything! Exactly, you should have stopped them. Are you res are you the responsible one or not? Alright, I think they get it. Let's just go into the restaurant now. Get the bag, Min! Liz places the empty equipment bag onto the floor and zips it. They're actually doing this? I thought they were just joking! Min climbs in and lies on her sides in the fetal position. There actually is some spare room. You okay in there? It's kind of like being in a sleeping bag, except not padded and shit. I'm doing a crime. If we stand our cover like this, we'll basically be stealing from the restaurant. That's right, homie. Fight the system. We need to zip this now so no one sees you. Everyone wave goodbye to Min. Bye, Min. Can't see a thing now that it's zipped shut. Min feels the urge to tuck on the top of the bag. Ugh, I didn't think about carrying this thing back in. It's like a hundred pounds. Dia can lift it. She's the strongest. No, Dia won't work. She looks too guilty. You can see it on her face. See, mom? She's already uncomfortable. Did you just call me mom? What? I did not. You totally did. I absolutely did not. <laughs> All right, I'll carry the bag. Whoa, she's lifting the bag off the ground. I'm suddenly really worried about being dropped. If you drop me, I'll kill you. They halt inside the restaurant. How many? Nine. I mean eight. We don't have any large table left. Is two separate ones fine? Sure. Come this way. The bag shifts with Chris's movements as she follows the waiter. 
these tables are pretty tall. If men were sitting at it, she'd need a booster seat. I'm not that sure, you bitch! <laughs> Shit. Men's life is a fugitive and it has ended. At least now that your cover is blown, you can eat normally with us. Yeah. Min crawls out of the bag and takes a seat with Akarsha, Noel, and Dia. We can get our drinks and food now. As Akarsha reaches for her empty glass, Noel grabs her arm. Wait, I'll get your water along with mine. You go ahead and get your food. Thanks? Don't mention it. Ooh, she's getting her drink! Do you have a fever or something? You're really docile all of a sudden. I don't have the energy to deal with you and Minso at the same time. I'll get you back for this later. I like how getting her water is something you have to get back at her for. Dia pauses and then turns to look at Min. The restaurant is noisy enough that she doesn't catch on what Min said, but she heard her tone of approval. You like Noelle now? Her face is shining with hope. Min is struck with a conviction that saying no would be a crime punishable by death. She's okay, I guess. Dia beams at her. The blinding exposure temporarily lowers Min's IQ by 50 points. Yeah, that was so worth it. <laughs> I don't know what anything is. Surely you at least recognize tandoori chicken? You're saying it wrong. Wait, really? Tandoori? Tandoori. It's, it's tandoori. The do isn't like door, it's like do do head. Are you five years old? You can at least say the do and due date. Tandoori? Tandoori. It's tandoori. <laughs> That's right, it's not dory. <laughs> I ended up taking a bit of everything. Maybe this will make Dia think I'm cool for trying all of it. The the tan tandu tandoori chicken is so too salty. Noel dumps it on Dia's plate. Dia eagerly stuffs the extra food into her mouth. What is she, your garbage disposal? Man jitters her leg from the table and rattles it like a small earthquake. Stop that! Karsha joins the same frequency so it res resonates. Knowledge is power. Akasha sips her water. She downs about half the glass now. Clearly waiting for this moment to arrive, Noelle smugly flips open her cell phone and shows it to her. Akarsha, look at this photo! It's a picture of the restaurant's bathroom stall. In the center of the frame is Noelle holding a glass of water into the toilet. Oh, that's why she wanted to do that. Not because she was being nice, because she wanted to get back at her. Is that... You filled my cup with toilet water?! Well, what do you think?! Seriously?! Karsha stands. Noelle has a previously happy look on her face, like a child burning ants with a magnifying glass. Seriously? Now? Are you serious? Come on, man. Seriously? Now? Really? Are you serious? Come on, man. <laughs> now or even? Ew! Ew! I can't believe you! You meanie! My stomach hurts now. You're being overdramatic. The bacteria wouldn't have infected that fast. I'm going to wash my mouth out. Ew! <laughs> Akarsha disappears into the bathroom. Jesus Christ! Worry, Dia goes after Akarsha, leaving Min alone and well at the table. Noelle is particularly in good mood now. Okay, let me let me talk to Noel first. Is it really toilet water? What? Of course not. That would not be unsanitary. What kind of a person do you think I am? The fuck? That someone makes it even worse. You lied to her. I never lied. I purposely led her to the wrong conclusion. That's all. Um, it pissed me off to admit it, but you're less boring than I originally thought. You used to think you were a blindly go goody two shoes type, but you're actually this sadist manipulative weirdo. I can respect that. Thanks. Sorry, I've been a jerk to you. I give you- if I'd given you a chance, we might have gotten along. What?! Ch just kidding, I hate you. Noelle nods with relief. Good, I hate you too. None of this Disney shit. Right. <laughs> no, they're getting along. You can tell that they're getting along now. Now that they're like, getting to know each other, but they won't admit it. Okay, let's go see Dia and Akarsha. Min gets up and hovers awkwardly outside to the woman's restroom. Peering through the open door from the hallway, she can see Akarsha and Dia in the sink. Kresha cups her hand underneath the running faucet, gurgling the tap water, and spits it back out. Oh my god! People pooped in the toilet water! I drank it! Yeah. This would have happened to me! Classic! What did I ever do to deserve this? You tied Noelle's braid to a tree. Besides that, this is so minor. And accidentally dropped a worm we were dissecting down her shirt. Besides that, that was weeks ago. Yesterday, you picked her up, replied, okay, when she demanded you to put her down, and you threw her into the school swimming pool. And when she screeched, now I'm all wet, you yelled, that's what she said. Besides that, that none of that counts. Such a cruel world we live in. Right. Dia clearly has no idea what to say. Even though she's mostly standing there and listening, though, Karsha seems to appreciate her presence. Looks like they're doing okay. Mira returns to the table. They're taking a long time in there. She's not crying, is she? No, she's draining a drama queen like usual. What are you worried? What? No! I'm just curious. 
Whatever you say, Satan. <laughs> the workers are refilling the iced tea keg now. That looks good. Min fetches the glass of iced tea and returns to the table. What's that? Iced tea? What? Where was it? Min points to the glass keg in the corner of the buffet. Why is it all by itself? Away from the other beverages? Uh, maybe they didn't want to have room for a soda machine? Now that she looks, though, there is room by the soda machine. Shit, you're right. The hell is this, then? How should I know? Min sniffs it. Can't tell what it is. You try. Noel brings the bowl to her face and inhales. I don't know. It doesn't smell like tea. Min pours it into a glass and slides it over to Noel. Maybe it's alcohol or something. I don't want this. It's a symbol of our non being enemies anymore. I don't even know what it is. Then try it. You try it. What, are you scared it'll taste bad? What if it's a condiment like a sauce? It would be like eating mustard. We should wait for Dia or Akasha to come back and ask them. I don't want to be sitting here and match matching cups with you. Looks stupid. You should have thought about that before taking my glass of mystery liquid. I thought I knew what it was. Numel glares down to the glass of the orangey yellow liquid after a long moment and takes a sip of it. Well, what is it? It's spicy, not sweet. It's weird for a beverage. I don't like it. What are you, racist? I'm not racist! You're like one of those wimps who are afraid of du Duran. Dur Durian? Durian? Is that what it is? Closed minded. I'm not! Look, I'll finish it! It's probably a quieter taste like Durian. Min begins to drink the glass of liquid too. That tastes weird for a drink. I don't like it, but I'm better than her. I'll never admit it! Grim is saying they continue drinking the mystery liquid in silence. Hey, you're like Dia's expert, right? More or less. Can I ask for your opinion on something then? Yes? Where would be the best possible place to date Dia on a date? A dog park. I already- I mean, besides a dog park. Then the Harry Potter theme park at the Universal Studios. But I don't have money to- I mean, the budget situation is small. Is this a hypothetical situation? Right, in this hypothetical situation, I'm testing your Dia knowledge. She also likes eating. So why don't you take her to a dessert place instead? There's one she wants to try called Stone Castle. They have a shave, ice, and boba. It's within walking distance from her school. Students often visit during the lunch hour. Perfect, thanks. I mean, you pass, because I was testing you. <laughs> Just as a reminder, I hate you. I'm only helping you to make sure Dia doesn't have a terrible time. Yeah, of course, I hate you too. <laughs> I like how Noelle knows too that she likes Dia. Akarsha and Dia have returned from the bathroom. Akarsha's eyes widen and she sees Min gulping another mouthful of the mystery liquid. Are you guys drinking Pawnee? Dia, look, look, they're drinking Pawnee. <laughs> what? What is Pawnee? You're supposed to use it to fill up, fill puri. The fried dough ball things? You don't drink it all by yourself. Noelle glares at Min. I told you it wasn't a beverage, I was right. Don't pin this on me. You drink it all on your own. Do you guys squirt ketchup into your mouths too? Shut up! Ketchup man. Both Dia and Akash are gleefully taking out their phones. <laughs> Don't take photos! Look what I got. It's a photo of a blurred scowling Noelle trying to shove a shamble cup away at, from her. You're gonna live this down, are you? You guessed it. Ketchup man too. Whatever, pea girl. <laughs> Noelle storms off to the buffet area to escape Akash's photos. Akash gets up and chases after her. Noelle's making things even worse. They're gonna be action shots of her running through the salad bar now. And of her tripping. Huh? But she hasn't been tripped. As a fun cue, Noelle stumbles on over nothing and trips. Hey, this is not a jungle gym! Wow, you're good! We're also alone at the table now. Here's my chance to ask her out. We should go out and eat sometime. We're already eating right now. I mean, some other time, just the two of us. Ah! <laughs> I love Min, she doesn't like dance around the situation, she just asks. Alright, so this is their date at Snow Castle. We're here, on a date. It's lunchtime at school right now. We ate really fast and sprinted here. How much time do we have? About 30 minutes before we gotta run back to campus. Thanks for bringing me here. I've always wanted to try their shaved ice. I'm the one who should be thankful, don't mention it. Min receives a chat message, she quickly checks her phone. I have prepared a Dia cheat sheet for you in reference. Top desserts, drinks, Dia likes. Any food artificially colored that looks blue. The flavor is irrelevant. Blue raspberry, baja blast, etc. Dia cannot tell the difference when it refers to blue flavor. Peanut butter, she's neutral towards actual peanuts. Mango, food with circles in the center like bagels, abundant cakes, peach gummy rings. If you're in a situation where multiple food items have these features, both a blue colored cake and a mango mousse cake are available, the hierarchy are followed. Blue flavor, peanut butter, mango, circle in the center. 
suggestion conversation topics owl city dogs who have different colored fur above their eyes so it looks like they have eyebrows the most extreme animal planet series okay text me if i run into trouble understood that's so nice of her to help mindia take their place in line and gaze up at the menu these shave eye desserts look massive maybe we can share one dia nods eagerly it's on purpose they're made for couples to eat to get we're sharing one <laughs> It's Dia and Min's turn in line now. Welcome to Snow Castle. Can I take your order? Dia looks anxiously at Min. Min's heart skips a beat, seeing the, helpless the helplessness in her eyes. She's relying on me. I got you. We'll have a Mount Fuji. That one is blue. One Mount Fuji coming right up. Dia and Min found a table and waited on their order. I'll pay you back. No, it's on me. Don't worry about it. I still have the money for the mountain. I still have money for the mall fountain. Thanks. <laughs> you're welcome. I'd kill some if you asked me to. I'm pretty sure you killed someone even if I didn't ask you to. The orders are being prepared on the counter. An employee is drizzling syrup at the top, another customer mountain of shape ice. Hey, we can watch them making it. Don't want to see. Food tastes better if you don't know what's in it. That way, it's like magic. Huh, I never thought of it like that. Do you know how to cook? I can make microwave popcorn. That's not cooking. What, can you cook? Not really. Once I tried to make a pancake when I was nine, but it burned to a total crisp like a rock. Couldn't even scrape, couldn't even scrape it out of the pan. I was so embarrassed that I dug a big hole in the backyard and buried it, <laughs> including the pan. I was desperate. I didn't know what else to do. That's so cute. You're like a puppy. Are you making fun of me? No, that's a good thing. You're so cute. Sometimes that I almost can't stand it. Ah! Oh! <laughs> I have to go to the bathroom. Dia staggers on her feet and makes it to the restroom. She misses the door and steps straight into the wall. Dia! Min rushes to her side and staggers back and grabbing a hold of her, worried she might fall. What's wrong? Are you hurt? Dia shakes her head, face red. She seems to be struggling with the limits of spoken language. Sure? Dia nods frantically. <laughs> it's so cute! Min tentatively lets her go. She watches Dia scrambled into the restroom correctly this time. As Min returns to the table, her phone screen lights up with a message. I'm so fucking done! The way you grabbed her and I thought you were going to start dry humping her in the middle of the restaurant. What? Is she spying on her? <laughs> Akarsha, I'm convinced those sunglasses are impeding your mental process. I'm embarrassed to be seen with you. Well, I can't take them off. Uh, I'll, um, my cover will be blown. You should have chosen a better disguise in the first place then! What? Turn around. <laughs> What is she wearing? Also, look at the while she's just wearing like a freaking mask. Oh my god, I'm dead. What the fuck? Dude's been texting me for advice on you. That's why she went to the bathroom. What? Honestly, I'm gonna let you go to you and not me. Why would she go to you? You never talk about feelings and gay stuff. And I've always mastered suggestion skills. Master sedu seduction skills? My tactics. You're so knowledgeable in these matters. Why are you single? Excuse you, I'm single because I want to be? Some people like being sad and alone. On purpose. On purpose. Right, on purpose. Not because no one ever likes me back or anything. Don't attack me like, what the fuck? Wait, guys, hold on. How long has this been going on? Was this whole thing at the buffet a setup? Like when you two left the table? Take a wild guess, Sherlock. You know, Noel, I'm starting to realize you do have a sense of humor. But you're emotionally constipated that your style of humor is just being extremely mean. Oh my god, wait, do you and Noelle get along now? We don't get along, but we used to not get along much worse. Dia returns to the table. Are you feeling better? Dia nods sheepishly and then stiffens up in the fear as a waitress approaches them in the desert on a train. Want Mount Fuji? Dia responds with a frenzy nodding as the waitress slides the dessert onto the table. Aw, oh, it's cute looking! The mount, of, the mount of shaved ice is sculpted and saturated with blue raspberry syrup and condensed milk that looks like a mountain. The blue flavor looks good! You almost not spot on. What's the pink things? It's mochi. It's supposed to look like a cherry blossoms. Min stabs a spoon of the shaved ice and shoves it into her mouth. The shaved ice is so cold that her gums are growing numb. I think I'm getting brain freeze. Me too. A drop of cream has trickled down Dia's finger. She quickly licks it before she can reach her palm. Min is so focused on watching, she doesn't realize her own mouth is hanging out until she feels a trail of spit about to drop from it. <laughs> Min accidentally drills onto the table. Fuck shit! 
Gia is staring determinedly at Mount Fuji. She's probably pretending I'm not seen. Help me! Pretend to drown so she has to give mouth to mouth. The fuck kind of plan is that? What would I have even been dr drowning on? The shave ice? No. The toilet? No! Trust me, I'm a love expert. There's no way this could possibly go wrong. Rather than poignantly causing confusion like that, why don't you be open and tell her how you feel? You're the last person on the planet qualified to tell me how to be open. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm perfectly open about my feelings. Since when? Hey, freshman, you enjoy your, our company, right? I'm not sure how you delude yourself in believing that. See? <laughs> Proved us right. You can't even argue it. She's trapped. She's hating being wrong because she can't admit she likes us. I like you. However, you're immature and relentless annoying. Everything about you fills me with incre in insatiable rage. From the way that you wear your windbreaker, to the flip-flops, to your idiotic hairstyle, to how smart you are, yet you do things like call forks, food rates, etc. And man, you're vile and stupid. I already hardly tolerate you, so if you hurt Dia in any way, I won't hesitate to destroy you. What if to intimidately drag us to defuse the situation? Baby steps, Frenchman. Very good. Shut up! Now that I'm right, as always, about being open, Min has no valid excuse. What if Dia rejects me? Then that's her own personal problem to having bad taste. Her loss- her loss on yours. What should I say? Let me think. Shit, bitch, you is fine. <laughs> what the hell? No! Hey, girl, rat piss. What? Urban Dictionary, rat piss. Codename for send nudes. Hey girl, rat piss. Oh my god. <laughs> Who the fuck would say that? Do it! Hey girl, rat piss. No! If you don't make the move within the next five minutes, I'm gonna build a crazy frog song and ruin your whole date. I practice. Unfortunately, I can't- I can't convert she practiced. Okay, I can do this. My mouth is so cold. Want me to warm it up for you? Dia freezes. Oh my god, I fucked up, I fucked up! Dia gives her a nervous, very small nod. What? <laughs> <laughs> no way! We can kiss her! Oh my god! Oh, okay, 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 okay. We're gonna kiss her. Ah! <laughs> oh, it's so cute! Yes! Min crawls onto the table on all fours with a loud clatter. Dia grasps as Min cups her face in her palm and catches her lips with hers. Her mouth is cold, as advised with the blue favor. Dia doesn't push away, but she doesn't look- but she doesn't kiss back either. Min can feel her trembling in her arms like a frightened rabbit. Anxious, Min pulls back at the sound of her Akarsha whooping and yodeling in the background. <laughs> Dia is clinging desperately to Min's jacket sleeve as a vivid brush coloring her cheeks. Is this good? Dia frighteningly nods in response, looking embarrassed. I don't know what to do. I've never done this before. Me either, but don't worry. I've looked it up on Yahoo Answers. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you want to start smaller. <laughs> I I want to hold hands with you and cuddle. We can do that. Min takes Dia's hands. I'm happy you kissed me. I like you a lot. Me too. Min lightly brushes Dia's lips with her thumb. Dia shivers at the touch as Min gently pulls her closer. Oh my god! I'm gonna cry. <laughs> do you like this? Dia nods and closes her eyes and leans in. She nuzzles against Min, preparing her peppering her cheeks with soft little kisses. Oh my god, Dia's kissing me! The table, it's- Noelle stands up as approaching them. The fuck? Go away, Noelle! You think I want to be watching this disgusting display? The table is- The leg of the table gives away under Min's weight. Well, we were that close! <laughs> okay, guys, I'm gonna end it right here. Oh my god, I can't. I'm so happy. And adorable. I just- eh, <laughs> I love it. Oh my god. But yeah, I- we just learned a lot about everyone. How everyone knew that Min and Dia liked each other, but they just wouldn't admit it. And the fact that, you know, Noelle and Min are getting along now. And um, they pretty much bonded with the fact that they have the similar parents where they're very strict and very, you know, crazy with one another. So that's, is, this game is so lovely. I'm so happy. I love this so much. But um, yeah, anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like, comment down below what you guys thought of this episode. And remember to subscribe and hit that bell button so you know when I upload the next video for Butterfly Soup. And uh, yeah, I just can't believe it. It's so cute. Ugh. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye! No! Keep going! Shh! I can't! Damn it! Right! Left!
of them don't get any credit they deserve, so today I'll be talking about 5 awesome video game sidekicks. Number 5. Daxter. Jack and Dexter series. Daxter, the 